in ancient times, it was very dangerous for a country to lose its authority on its territory, especially if there are Teo hostile invading states on the same side. In this video we will see the first example in history of a complete invasion of a state. The Mitanni were a civilization founded in the Middle East in the 16th century BC. The Mitanni state had defensive armies, and although they initially clashed with the Egyptians over control of Syria, they later reconciled and formed a strong alliance. At the beginning of the 14th century BC, the Egyptians and Mitanni were at the peak of their power and were in a strong alliance, even the dynasties of the two states were marrying each other. Queen Gilukipa was the daughter of Shatarna III, king of Mitanni, and was married to Egyptian pharaoh Amenhotep III. However, when the 13th century BC was reached, there were two great powers in the region, the Assyrians and the Hittites. The Mitanni state was very weak. After the death of Mitanni king Shatuara II, throne struggles started, the people were restless and the country was dragged into disaster. Although the Hittites made the Kadesh peace treaty with the Egyptians, they did not do this with the Mitanni. Occupying the Mitanni meant more influence over Syria. The Assyrians, on the other hand, had perhaps the strongest army of the period and were an invading civilization. At the beginning of the 13th century, the Hittites and Assyrians began to invade Mitanni. There was no strength to resist. And if the Mitanni people resisted the occupation, they could not fight with two forces at the same time. This was the end for the Mitanni. Year 1237 BC Hittite and Assyrian armies came face to face in the area called Nuria. They would fight for the Mitanni lands. They already knew each other and knew that war was inevitable. The Hittite king Tudhalia IV and the Assyrian king Dakulti Ninurta fought with their armies. But we don't know enough details about the war. Only an Assyrian tablet has survived, stating that the Assyrians won the war and that 28,000 Hittite soldiers were captured as prisoners. However, archaeological finds show that fewer people participated in the war. But the Assyrians are certain to have one. After this war, the Assyrian advance continued for a while and stopped before it could fully control the Mitanni lands. This is the third war whose records have survived. See you in the next videos.